It looks a bit better. It looks a bit better. What's up all you wonderful cripples and non-cripples out there? Welcome to my channel. My name is Daz Bartley. And this is... I want you to me So, in the last video, I noticed that my beard was kind of overgrown and very ginger. Uh, so, I wanted to have a trim. And this is how it <laughs> ended up. Um, we slipped and it made a bald patch. So, yeah, that didn't happen. Uh, then I went to a goatee. And then we tried, it was quite funny, because we tried to align the sides up, but that didn't work neither. I ended up with just nothing there and a moustache, and I put a picture of what I look like up there now. And it, yeah, so it just all went, because I looked like, I was getting loads of comments on Snapchat and Instagram that I looked like Keith Lemon, and I didn't want that. So, yeah. Anyway, back to the video. As you can tell... By the title below, I'm going to be catching up on the Manx Tales magazine for all the people that don't get the magazine. Um, this is part six and seven. I'm doing two lots of magazines in this video. Um, so we're going to start off with November. The November's Manx Tales. Yep. Sorry. Yeah, October. October comes before November, does. I want to apologise as well now for not doing any Max Tail videos. Um, they kept coming and they kept coming and I kept saying I'll do it, I'll do it, and then I just kept forgetting. So now we have, what's the month of February now? We have October, November, December, January, February to catch up on. So I'm going to do two in this video and two in the following video, which will be next week sometime. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, scrap what I just said. Apologies, I started reading it and... I'd already read it on the previous video, so I had to double check, because I felt like I'd read it before. Turns out, I did. So, I had it right at the start. <laughs> We're going to be reading November. Uh, October 1 was Evie's part 2. So, apologies, I'm going to be reading <laughs> November. <laughs> right. Let's find the page. This blog is featuring you guys. Can you see the YouTube logo? This one is December, November. <laughs> I can't get a mix up. Uh, this is November, and this one is talking all about my YouTube career. This was aimed to people that don't follow me on YouTube. This was to try and encourage, I'm not gonna lie, it was trying to encourage more, more viewers and more subscribers. It did work. Not to the extent that I wanted it to work, but I gained a couple of subs from it, so I'm quite happy with that. But uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and read this. You guys will know about this anyway, um, but yeah, let's just do it. My new YouTube career. Hi everyone, I hope you all enjoyed my last two blogs regarding my trip away to K9 Partners with Evie. This blog is slightly different. This month I have been concentrating so much on YouTube, so much on my YouTube channel, I have religiously started producing one upload a day. Most videos are between 10 and 15 minutes long. Since I have started this, it has grown so much, I couldn't believe it. I currently have 131 subscribers and just under 10,000 views. Since, obviously since November, I am up to... Uh, uh, Ah, up to 188, so thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. I have over 15,000 views now, instead of 10,000 views. Uh, my channel was set up to show the world that having a disability doesn't stop you achieving your goals. It was just an awareness thing. I didn't expect for one minute I would grow this much. I feel like I have become a local celebrity. People are stopping me in the street, asking for autographs, and selfies. The feeling, the feeling is amazing. Some examples of the type of videos I do include how I cook, how I do chores around the house, 
between me and you, right? I don't do chores around the house. <laughs> this is just to make me look good. And <laughs> how I draw and how I well, how I draw slash write. Also, some are for entertainment purposes only. I have also started doing a live video every Sunday evening, mainly singing sing on that and talk about my YouTube and what's to come, etc. My videos have attracted many disabled and non-disabled video viewers I can't even read from all around the world. I get comments on them all the time. This is one I remember particularly. It was a lad commenting on behalf of his gran who had recently suffered, suffered a stroke and was feeling down and fed up. When she watched my videos, it apparently made her smile and laugh, which she hadn't done in a while. That made me want to produce more videos. I feel so good inside at the fact I'm helping people laugh slash smile. My goal is to be entertained. My goal is to entertain people that may be feeling down. My videos are starting to be watched and it's the best feeling ever. I can't describe it in words. I was in Costa in my local town a few weeks back with a friend and I heard my intro music from one of my videos. I literally went, oh my gosh, she's watching one of my videos. I couldn't help but go over and introduce myself. She was so made up, I made her day. That to me is the best thing ever. I love helping other people. Thank you so much for reading this month's segment. If you check out my channel, may I say thank you. It means the world to me. In the red box at the bottom with a screenshot of my YouTube channel, it says, if you are interested in watching any of my videos, please go to www.youtube.com forward slash Daz Bartley My Life. Then all you have to do is click subscribe and press the little bell to get notified every time I upload. Also, feel free to share my videos so I can help others. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. And I hope I inspire you as readers of Max Tales as well. Just because you're in a wheelchair doesn't mean you can't enjoy life. I live mine the very best I can. I wouldn't change anything. I just wish I could help everyone who needs cheering up. To this day, I'm still very grateful for everyone that watches my YouTube videos. It means so much to me. It, it, I just love every minute of it, and uh, yeah, it, as you can tell by my face, I'm really happy about it. Uh, sorry, I need the light. Yeah, I'm very, very happy about it, and I can't thank you guys more. And to that fella that messaged me and said, you know, I made his grand's day, I was, I felt so warm inside, and what, you know, very, um, what just the word, <clears throat> very, very helpful. Um, that I could make, you know, someone laugh that's been feeling down. Um, to me, that's the best best feeling ever. So, thank you very much. Really means a lot to me. That was November. So now, we are on to, if you hadn't guessed, December. I, pop, I knew I popped too close to the table. There we go. This one hasn't really been open. It's brand new. Look, it's not even got any creases. Oh, no, it's just a thing. I don't even know what page I'm on. So let's let's go and find it. Ooh, three for two. Did it be? That's another thing, right? Every max every max tales I get after me writing it, I always seem to get further and further into the book. I mean, between me and you, right? I thought I'd be at least page three by now. This one is preparing my dinner uh, because they're a month behind. I wanted to do a Christmas one. Um, the Christmas one is in fact the January's one, so I'll be reading that next week, the January and the February one. But there, for this one, this is preparing dinner. And it has a picture of a chopping board with a slice of bread on it. It's cool. Anyway, <clears throat> as most of you know, especially if you've been following my blogs, I am disabled. Am I? Oh yeah, so I am. I rely on the use of my mouth for everyday tasks as my arms don't work. Using my mouth, I can do a good number of tasks, i.e. cooking, making a cup of tea, typing this blog, etc. <clears throat> Ooh, Pointless Blog Vogs just uploaded a video. I'll have to watch that later. <laughs> In this blog, I'm going to talk 
through how I prepare and cook my evening meals. For example, say I'm making spaghetti bolognese. What I would do first is chop an onion up. I do this by using a specially designed chopping board. It looks like a normal wooden chopping board, but on one side it has five sharp spikes sticking out of it. On the other side it has raised sides so I can butter bread. I don't know if I've done a video of me buttering bread. Um, I might have done. Can't remember. If not, I will do one. Uh, to peel and chop an onion, I use the sides with the spikes on. I stab the onion onto the spikes, then I grab a knife using my mouth. I start chopping away at the onion. The spikes keep the onion nice and still allow me to do this. Next is to fry the mince. I place a frying pan onto the hob using my strong jaws and teeth. Yes. <laughs> oh, why do I write stuff like this? Uh, <laughs> I pick it up with the handle as you normally would. In open brackets, this isn't a small frying pan either. I would show you it, but it's up where I can't reach it. Uh, I usually know what I'm having for my tea, so I would ask my carer to place everything on the bottom of the fridge so it's reachable. I use a fork slash spoon... Oh, I love that word. Fork slash spoon to put the chopped onions into the pan too. Now, I'm not that clever that I can open the jar of sauce using my mouth, although there may be a gadget out there somewhere. If there is a gadget out there, please write in the comments below, because that would be, that'd be really handy for me. At the minute, I'm having to ask a carer to put, either open the jar or open the jar and pour it into a jug, that type of thing. So if you know anything electronically, gadgety wise that will open jars, please write in the comments below, because, yeah, I might have to buy one of them. Um, I usually ask my carer to empty the contents of the sauce into a plastic jug, 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 you know, the type you would wash your hair with in the bath when you were a kid. <clears throat> then I would ask her to put cling film over the top. It's easier this way to pour overcooked meat. I do this by biting the handle and tilting it over the pan. <clears throat> the above is the same for the pasta too. I pick a pan up with my teeth, then I balance it on the edge of the sink so I can turn the tap on to fill the pan with water. I should probably mention that I have had my tap brought to the front of the sink so I can get easy access to it. Then once the pan has water in it, I pick it up again using my teeth and carry it back to the hob. I usually grab the packet of pasta from the unopened side and shake the pasta in. Once it's all cooked, I use the wooden spoon to place spaghetti onto a plate. With the pasta, I usually twist it with a fork and wrap it around and serve it that way. Once the water in the pan has cooled, I'll then take it to the sink and pour it away. My plates are plastic as they are easier for me to pick up with my teeth and carry to the table in front of the telly. Now, it was the table then, but now I have the desk with loads of room on it. So I can eat my tea and the TV's right there. So that's quite handy. That's the best way to describe to you how I cook. In the next blog, I'll be talking more about different kitchen utensils I have and how I use them. Thank you for reading and I will see you next month. That's a wrap. Well, guys, I have just read to you the, la the next two blogs. It'll be November and December. Nope. Just move them over here, up, up, up on there. Probably next week, the same day, I will read to you two more blogs, January and February. Now, I've got to write March as one. It's got to be in by the 19th. So I've got to do that the next few days. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you liked it, smash that like button down below. Even if you didn't enjoy this video, smash that like button down below. Snapchat and Instagram links are coming up on the screen now. There we go. <laughs> and yeah, please subscribe for more by clicking on my face either there or there. And video will last yesterday's video will also be there or there. Um, yeah, but thank you very much for watching guys. And as always, don't forget to keep it wheeling. <laughs>